Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Twitcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys a 35 gun streak with ACR playing solo. Groundwork kill confirmed on the map Underground. This gameplay is really, really old. I think it's like a year and a half old. It's from when MW3 pretty much first came out. It's a really old one. But I figured a 35 gun streak playing solo was still pretty good. So I did think you guys would enjoy this gameplay today. I have a lot of really old gameplays that are like 30 plus gun streaks and stuff like that. And I'll try to find those because I have a lot of them saved up. They're just kind of all lost and stuff. So I have to find those gameplays to upload them. I figured this one was pretty good though. And I did think you guys would enjoy this gameplay today. My class setup was the ACR with silencer and extended mags. With scavenger, quick draw, and marksman. And then my three specials perks were stalker, sleight of hand, and hardline. And in today's video, guys, I have some more Call of Duty Ghost info and news. I just want to talk about the perks that I think will be the best in the game. I haven't actually played Call of Duty Ghost for myself yet, and I don't know which perks are actually the best. I just have a list here of what the perks all do, and I'm just going to talk about the perks that I think will be the best, or kind of the, you know, the best perks to use in the game, all the most overpowered perks. So I have a list here, and I'm just going to kind of read through these perks. So the first one, guys, is called Deadeye, which is a 5-point perk in the Elite tier. And what it says is the higher the gun streak you're on, the more uh, probability you have of doing higher damage. So I think if you're on like a 20 gun streak, your bullets do a lot more damage that's just kind of what it sounds like it's kind of like stopping power from mw2 in a way i guess i think it'll be a really overpowered perk for all the really good players it, uh, the people who get like 70 gun streaks and stuff if they're on a really high gun streak this perk sounds like the, their bullets will just do more damage so i think that'll be a really good perk the second one is called ping which is in the elite tier as well after you kill an enemy your radar is activated for all the players around him so if you kill one enemy and he has a teammate around him even if you guys don't have a SATCOM in the air, the other enemy pops up on your radar. That's never really been in Call of Duty before. I think that'll be a pretty good perk to use. The third one, guys, is called Danger Close, which has been in MW2 before. It pretty much is this extra explosive damage, and it's a three-point perk in the equipment tier. I think uh, Danger Close will be pretty good for the people who run uh, C4 and grenades and stuff. Danger Close just sounds like a good perk to use. It was pretty good in MW2 as well. Uh, the fourth perk, guys, is called Stopper, which is a two-point perk in the Resistance tier. And what it does is it's kind of like tough, uh, Toughness from Black Ops 2. You just have less flinch when you're getting shot. And it also reduces the amount of red uh, blood on your screen. So a lot of times when you get shot, you can't see too well because of the red on your screen. And what this perk does, Stopper, is it kind of takes away the red on your screen. So that'll be pretty helpful to use. The fifth one, guys, is called Painkiller, which is... Uh, it was a death streak in MW2, I think. What it pretty much does is, uh, actually, it's kind of a new perk, I guess. It's kind of a different uh, thing from Painkiller in MW2. But what Painkiller does is it's in the resistance tier, and it's worth two points. What it does is it makes you regenerate your health faster, and that's never been in any Call of Duty game before. That'll be a really helpful perk to use for all the rushing players. So if you, you know, lost some health and stuff in a gunfight, your health just regenerates a lot faster. That'll be a really, really awesome perk to use. The sixth one, guys, is called Wiretap, and what it does is if enemy team actually has a SATCOM in the air, it kind of taps into the SATCOM and your team actually gets to use it as well. So if the enemies have like four SATCOMs called in, you'll pretty much have an advanced UAV on your screen, which will be really awesome to use, kind of hacking into your enemies' UAVs or SATCOMs. The seventh one, guys, is called Off the Grid, and I already know for a fact this uh, perk will be overpowered. It's kind of just like Assassin from MW3, and it's kind of like Ghost from Black Ops 2. Every Everyone hates the stealth perks and I just feel like off the grid will be really overpowered. I really really don't like the stealth perks that keep you off of the radars and stuff so I really hope off the grid isn't too overpowered but I feel like it probably will be. The eighth one guys is called on the go which is a two point perk in the handling tier and what on the go does is it kind of allows you to reload while you're sprinting. That's never really been in Call of Duty before. Usually you have to stop and reload while you're like walking but in this uh, perk called on the go you can actually reload while you're sprinting so I think that'll be really cool and a really neat perk to use and that's pretty much all the perks that i think will be good in black ops 2 guys or my bad guys call of duty ghost not black ops 2 sorry i hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay today and i'll see you guys next time peace out